we are today discussing a topic from SYJC Maths 2 Paper 2. Topic is called binomial distribution. This topic, from this topic, they will ask you a question of minimum three marks. So minimum three marks the question I got from the topic called binomial distribution. I written an example. A coin is tossed 10 times. Coin ko humne 10 baar toss kiya hai. Find the probability of getting 7 heads. Find the probability. Matlab probability ka question hai. So you have to find probability. Abhi normally humne kya sikha hai? At the lower standards. Ki probability of A is equal to N of A upon N of S. So they are saying probability of A is N of A upon N of S. So if you probability, so let me try this formula N of A upon N of S. What was N of A? N of A was elements in the event set. And what was N of S? Element in the sample set. So event set means jitne elements are upon sample set wale elements. Are we clear? That is how we learn probability. Now, अभी आप बोलोगे यहाँ पर coin is being tossed how many times? Ten times. दस बार coin toss किया है. अभी आप करो आप. If the coin was tossed two times, अगर हमने coin को सिर्फ दो बार toss किया, coin tossed two times. तो sample set कितना था? H H H T T H T T. मतलब चार. Correct? अगर coin को हमने तीन बार toss किया so what was the sample set elements? 8 Adhra 2 raised to 3 If the coin is tossed 5 times 2 raised to 5 32 So to, agar 10 times coin toss kiya Toh kitna hoga? 2 raised to 10 1024 Matla aapka n of s hoga 1024 So think of a situation Ki aap 1024 possibilities list karne wale ho is it possible? Possible, but very difficult. Malum bada exam mein aapne bhi dekhi questions all kiya. Because you are writing 1, 0, 2, 4 possibilities. Are we clear? So, is liye kya karte ya? We are using the concept of binomial distribution. Binomial distribution ka concept am use kar rahe. Kyu? Binomial distribution ka jo concept hai, it says, bali coin 10 bar tossed hai, aapko 10 bar आपको सिर्फ एक ही बार का सोचना है। तो formula is so well designed, वैसे तू सिर्फ एक बार का सोच, दस बार का answer मैं दे दूँगा तुझे। अभी क्लियर? तो क्या है formula? Let us understand and use this example. The formula is p of x is equal to x is n c x into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x. क्या है formula? p of x is equal to x is equal to ncx into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x. I'll explain you the meaning of this. So, sabse pehla kya hai? n. What is n? Number of times experiment is performed. Number of times experiment is performed. Aapne experiment kitna baar perform kiya hai? Go back to this example. Example ka answer bhi saath mein likhte hai. So, what are we doing here? We are tossing the coin. How many times? Ten times. So, I mean, how many times have you performed the experiment? Ten times. So, what is your n is equal to? Ten. So, n is equal to ten. Again, first part? Yes. Now, let's go to the other P. What is P? Probability of success when experiment is performed once experiment performed once matlab jaisa maine aapko kya bola binomial ka advantage kya hai aapko sirf ek baar ka sochna hai 10 baar ka nahi to ye log bol rahe what is p probability of success when experiment is performed once to matlab bhali coin 10 baar toss ho raha hai humko sirf ek baar ka sochna hai ki coin agar ek baar toss hua to head aane ka chance kya hai coin agar ek baar toss hua to head aane ka chance kya means probability of getting 
head when coin is tossed once. एक ही बार coin toss करना है तो probability मतलब p का आंसर क्या होगा? अगर coin हम एक बार toss कर रहे हैं तो हमारा sample set क्या होगा? If the coin is tossed only once, तो sample set क्या होगा? H comma t दो ही possibility है मतलब हमारा n of s जो है that is equal to two करें अच्छा what is n of a कितना बार head नजर आ रहा है एक बार तो one upon two so आगे आप इन का value तो p मिल गया आपको probability of getting head when the coin is tossed once अच्छा what is q next वाला q what is q probability of getting probability of getting or you can say let us make it simple probability of failure success का उल्टा करते थे failure when experiment is performed once फिर से एक बार एक ही बार का करना है and the shortest way is q is equal to one minus p correct अगर success का chance seventy percent है failure का chance thirty percent है correct ना तो same way q is equal to one minus p क्या था हमारा p half तो one minus half is equal to half तो क्या क्या मिल गया n मिल गया p मिल गया q मिल गया what is pending x what is x x is expected number of outcomes expectation आपको क्या चाहिए finally आपको क्या चाहिए getting what seven heads तो x is equal to seven सारे वैल्यूज मिल गए फॉर्मूला में डाल दो तो क्या बनेगा बोलो p of x is equal to two p of x is equal to two is equal to what what is my n ten ten c seven into what is p raised to x half raised to x का वैल्यू है seven into q raised to n minus x half raised to ten minus seven are we clear yes what is 10 C 7 ka shortcut? 10 C 3. We know the shortcut. What is the formula? N C R is N C N minus R. Combination mein sikha tha amne. Kya sikha tha combination mein? N C R, N C N minus R. Shortcut. To 10 C 7, 10 C 3. Aur ye kya hoga bolo? Half raised to 7 into half raised to 10 minus 7 is 3. Correct? अब ये 10 C 7 3 कैसा लिखते हैं? 10 into 9 into 8 upon 3 into 2 into 1 into base से में power add तो half raised to 7 plus 3 is 10 इधर cancel हो जाएगा 3 one जा 3 three जा 2 one जा 2 five जा तो आंसर क्या आ जाएगा देखो इधर 15 this is 120 into 1 upon 1024 you can reduce this. That is 120 upon 1024. Reduce कर दो तो आपको अपना answer मिल जाएगा. Are you clear on that? Getting my point? 120 upon 1024. तो मतलब I'm writing it here. तो यहाँ पर देखिए. तो हमारा answer क्या आ रहा है? What is the answer we are getting here? 15 into 8, 120 into 1024. अब reduce कर दो. तो आंसर आ जाएगा आपका। Are we clear on that? Getting my point? अच्छा, fine। और एक कॉन्सेप्ट आता है इसमें। One more concept is asked in the exam कि mean, they will say mean find out करो। Mean is equal to shortcut np। n मालूम है, n p मालूम है, half। मतलब example में ten into half, which is equal to five। और क्या कॉन्सेप्ट पूछते हैं? Variance how do you get variance? N P Q. Famous hai is what? N P Q. What is N? Ten. What is P? Half. What is Q? Half. One zar. Five zar. Five by two, which is two point five. Are we clear on that? Achha. Important. Observe the Your mean will always be mean will always be greater than variance. It will always be greater than variance. Very, very important. Are we clear on the concept? Getting my point? So, yaad rakhiye, probability ka formula bhali n of a upon n of a se. But, 
shortcut if your number of times experiment performed is very very large shortcut is binomial distribution i hope you are clear on that thank you very much